wages of a South Korean author will be withheld to pay thousands of dollars in damages to survivors of Japanese sexual slavery South Korean authorities say she defamed. The U.S. Embassy in Seoul denies reports that American late-night entertainer Conan O'Brien cut short a meet-and-greet with fans to get a photo with U.S. Ambassador Mark Lippert. And a South Korean McDonald's will soon be the company's first Asian location to serve draft beer. I'm Chance Dorland, and this is your Korean News Update for Wednesday, February 17th, brought to you by Korea FM in association with the Korea Observer. For more independent news and talk radio podcasts, as well as a 24-hour stream of musicians from the Korean Peninsula, subscribe in the iTunes Store with your favorite Android application or visit koreafm.net. A Seoul court has ordered the wages of a South Korean professor to be garnished to compensate sexual slavery survivors the professor defamed with her controversial book on comfort women. The Korea Herald reports following last month's ruling that found Sejong University professor and comfort women of the empire author Park Yu Ha guilty of defamation and infringement of human rights against sexual slavery survivors. The nine plaintiffs in the case requested the professor's wages be garnished in order to receive nearly 74,000 U.S. dollars awarded by the court. Park has consistently refused to apologize, and after removing 34 contentious phrases from Comfort Women of the Empire, on February 1st began distributing the book for free online. The Korea Herald reports the book attempted to portray Comfort Women as victims of imperialism that was rampant during World War II, who were unprotected by the state, and that seeing women only as victims of Japanese wartime atrocity was simplifying the situation. Supporters of the author say her viewpoints represent academic freedom and should be respected, but opponents claim the book has hurt and damaged sexual slavery survivors. American late-night talk show host Conan O'Brien has come under scrutiny after allegedly cutting short a fan meet-and-greet to meet with the U.S. ambassador to South Korea. The Korea Times reports the comedian's Monday evening event was planned for roughly two hours, but ended after only 30 minutes with no clear explanation given to fans. Despite more than 200 people in attendance, Monday's first-come, first-served event ended before 8 p.m. And by approximately 9 p.m., Ambassador Mark Lippert's Twitter account posted a photo of O'Brien standing with Lippert and the title, Welcome to Korea, Have a Great Visit. The Korea Times reports fans at the event claim the ambassador's unexpected appearance could be the reason for the shortness of the event. But the U.S. Embassy in Seoul and the event's organizers deny the allegation, noting that the ambassador's visit was brief and unrelated to the shorter-than-expected meet-and-greet with fans, but didn't specify the reason for the comedian's early departure. Conan O'Brien announced last week that he decided to visit Seoul to thank a Korean student for her fan letter and package of Korean snacks. And McDonald's says next week it will open its first Asian location serving premium burgers and draft beer in Songnam in Gyeonggi Province, South Korea. The Chosun Ilbo reports that the new business model succeeds. McDonald's plans to open similar stores in Gangnam and Shinshan. In 1971, McDonald's first began selling beer in Germany, and beer and wine are available in some of the company's French locations. And today we'll see lots of sunshine with a high of 5 degrees Celsius, then tonight a low down to negative 4. Then for tomorrow we'll see some clouds and then sun in the afternoon with a high up to 8 degrees, then a low down to negative 5. You can subscribe to the Korean News Update podcast through the iTunes Store or with Android podcasting applications. And for more independent news, talk radio, and music from the Korean Peninsula, visit koreafm.net. I'm Chance Dorland.